Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Talon by Titan Bags. This is the newest bag by Titan. I've got a ton of requests for this. I was excited to get this bag in, so let's go ahead and break it down, and I'll tell you what I found out. Design-wise, this is a standard Titan design, right? They have their, their logo, they have their name, they have some image associated with the name. If you see bags, you immediately know they're Titan bags, and they at least make them identifiable. I, I don't have any issues with that. It's a corporate bag, so only designed on one side. Uh, it is ACL Pro stamped for 2023 for those like ACL events. Titan also does put the speed ratings on their bags, uh, at least on the carpet bags on the fast side, non-carpets on both sides. I may not always agree with the speed ratings, but again, speeds are subjective. But I love the fact they put a number there, so even if you, even if the number it may play different than that number in your in your style of game or on your boards or in your conditions, at least you still know which is the slow side, which is the fast side by looking at the numbers. I I love that. I wish more companies would put identifiers in their bags. It just helps in blind draws. It helps for beginning players. It helps when you get us in a bag. You're not always guessing which is the fast, which is the slow. You know, you, you can you can look at it right away and identify, oh, that's the fast side, that's the slow side. So plus for them on that. The, the designs, I, I think the design's fine. I kind of like that little owl look there. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, all, all design's fine. Material-wise, we'll start with the slow side here. This carpet is, when I first saw this bag, I thought this was the Pro Advantage carpet. That's what I thought I was getting. I thought they were making. I got the bag realized that's not what it is. It's actually the same carpet that you find on the Ultra Mojo, which if you saw the review, you know that wasn't my favorite bag, but it wasn't because I disliked the material. I just disliked the combination of materials they used. But this is a this is a wonderful material. It's actually fairly close in feel and playability to the BG Viking carpet. I don't know if it's the same carpet. It may be. I'm not sure, but it's very close. It's not the same to that. So it gives you an idea of, of what, what type of material it is. It's a four speed. Um, I just, it's where I think I read it's what Titan also gives it a four speed. So we're both on the same page there. It's a very controllable material. It's actually, I really like it for a carpet material. Fast side, this is the this is the same fast side that you find on the, the X level lights out round two I reviewed. It is the fast it's a slow side of the cat 2 it's a seven speed material it's actually a wonderful material i don't know why more companies don't use it i really like this material a lot i just don't see it very much uh so you're looking at a four seven on the material in fact this is the exact same two material combinations that the b3 perpetrator has so if you're familiar with b3 cornhole the perpetrator they actually use these same two materials they put a different fill on their back so it plays a little bit differently but that's the same materials if you're familiar that gives you an idea there uh, uh Template-wise, this is a medium template bag. This is actually a little bit larger than some of the other Titan carpet bags. In fact, I have a set of Titan Prowlers here um, that I'm got a review coming. I just haven't done it yet. I, I don't know if I can show you here. It's hard to really see sometimes, but the Talon is actually just a slight hair bigger than the Prowler um, all the way around. So the, the Prowler is definitely a small template bag. This is really closer to that medium. It's almost it's almost right at that six by six uh, square bag. So I, it's a medium template, but it's a, it's a hundred percent bead fill in here it's that round fill it's if you're familiar with the kill shots their bullseye fill the what they use in like the sicario the javelin um some of the other bags use it it they it's a very similar that same fill um that the tight jizz in this talent here it gives it a pretty good hand fill i actually like the hand fill on that now if you're if you don't like the bead fill you're not gonna like this bag but titan makes some other bags that don't have the bead fill so if you want a disc fill they have some other options but this is definitely a bead fill bag which for what this bag designed for i think the bead fill is right for it and i go to playability so, so this is a bag that that most of you aren't going to like. It's definitely not a bag for everyone, and I, I do think most players are going to dislike this bag, but it doesn't mean it's a bad bag. Hang with me on that, and I'll explain it more. So with this bead fill and with this sticky slow side material, this bag bounces, and this bag kicks really hard. It punishes you if you don't throw a flat bag. It punishes you if you're a little offline because it's not that floppy, so it's not very forgiving. There's not a lot of, you know, this bag doesn't grab that hole. If you're a little off left or right, it scoots right back. You know, I always talk about the landing zone and how you get the larger, floppier bags, you widen the landing zone. This bag, even though it's a medium template, it really shrinks that zone up because the bag's so full, it doesn't flop. So if you're off left or right, it's just going to slide right past the hole it's set behind it. Now, it's if you're slow side, it's going to stay on the board. It, it doesn't, it's probably not going to fly off, but it's not going to grab that hole and spin around a melt in like you're typically used to. You've got to get at least half that bag in the hole before it'll grab and spin and come back in. Uh, the other thing is, like I said, the kick and the bounce. This bag, if you're not perfectly flat with your throw and you've got to tilt left or right on there, this bag is going to hit. It's going to kick. When I my 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 throw, when I get lazy, which is quite often, especially doing these videos, I'm throwing quite often and quite a bit of throws. I start getting a little fatigue in me. I, I don't rotate my wrist fully. My bag comes out. 
with a little bit left tilt, down tilt to it. And then when it does that, it hits, it wants to kick left to right. You'll see it here. In fact, from the angle you're looking at, it's actually going to kick right to left. It's going to come towards me when I do that. The problem is, is I, I notice I started doing that more and more. I'm going to start getting really aggressive, really hard kicks. Then I try to overcompensate and I have over rotating and then the bag comes out and it kicks the other way. And this bag will punish you. You've, if you're not consistent with your flat back, it is going to kick. Um, it does have a bounce, which means collecting the bag. I mean, this is great for throwing blockers. You can you can throw blockers, you can put bags wherever you want on the board. This is such a wonderfully such a wonderful controllable material that you can put bags everywhere you want. The problem is when you got bags there, it's really difficult, even faster, difficult to collect because it's full enough that you can clip it, it'll go in. The problem is when you throw, the bag wants to just bounce right over. It wants to hit, bounce over. It wants to hit, you know, it bounces up, it hits, it wants to flip over. So when you go to collect, the best way I found to collect this bag is to lay it like right behind it or even just a little on it, hit the bag, take the bounce out and push it in and this will follow. If you go slow side, it'll usually hit, push, replace, flip it or fast side, it'll hit, push, and follow in. So you can do it that way. Just understand that it's not your typical collect bag. Now, with that being said, I'm throwing it on an open board with just this bag. When you have an opponent out there, the more bags you have on the board, the easier it's going to be to collect because when, you, when you've got multiple bags setting up there and you go to collect, it, it once it hits, it takes a lot of that momentum, a lot of the speed out, and takes some of that balance out. It becomes easier to collect. This is also a bag that is wonderful for shaping shots. Because of the balance, because of that stickiness, you can throw cuts, you can throw rolls, you can throw flops. I mean, it just, it wants to do all of those things and it does it really well. And that's where this bag, to me, that's what this bag is designed to do. That's what this bag shines. Is if you're, if you, if you like to play a shot shaping style game, you like to, you like to, to, to control the board, to dirty up the board, and then get creative your shots. That's where this talent comes into play. And honestly, I think for me, it's it's a bag that that more so where I'm playing its opponent who throws a sticky bag. You know, I got an opponent who pulls out a set of prowlers, and I know they're going to play a dirty style game where they pull out a set of, of combats or a set of Vikings or something with that sticky carpet. And I okay, you know what? They're going to throw blockers up there. This is where I want this bag. I don't necessarily have to throw the blocker, but when they throw one, I can cut around it. I can roll over. It, I can flop over. It, I can I can get around it and leave the bag there and make them have to collect their own bag. And this bag is wonderful for doing that and getting around blockers and getting around bags on the board. It. it Again, I'm not a rollback thrower, but I was able to roll this back, able to flop this back. I could do a lot of things with this as far as shaping shots. Like I said, it really, it doesn't shine that well on open boards, just throwing by myself. This is definitely not a bag for for playing ghost cornhole or playing you know deck rounds or round holios. It's not gonna, it's not gonna increase your PPR, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna win games because this is a, more of a DPR style game, I think, for for a lot of players. Uh, if you're if you're a player that's wanting to learn to roll bags, I think this is great for beginners because of the bounce. It's going to be easier to to get the bag to roll, even though you may not have enough of that back load or flop, you know, enough of that flap of that front load. It still it wants to do it for you anyway, so you can start getting the feel for it and have a little success with a bag like this before you advance to a little bit harder bags to to roll or flop. So if you're interested in trying to learn to roll, this is a great option for you on that. Um, and all in all, I I, I, I liked the bag. Um, I, again, I think it's designed for certain situations and certain players. It's not a bag. It's not like one of the Swiss Army Knife type bags that can do it all. And honestly, I don't want bags to do it all. Like I love, I'm a situational type player, and I have to pull bags out that fit that situation. You know, the board conditions, the weather conditions, the player, my opponent, the play style, how I'm playing at night. I like to match bags up better to that than just say, here's the one bag I'm throwing this all the time, no matter what. And Titan has a wonderful lineup. So, you know, if this isn't a bag that sounds like something you're going to like, Titan, I'm sure, has something you like. They have they have a wide range of bags that cover all play styles, all play conditions. So they have something for you. Um, and I like the fact that they're, dialed, they're, they're designing bags for specific players in specific play styles and specific conditions. I think that's what more companies need to do is focus more on this is a bag for this situation. Here's a bag for this situation. Not, here's a bag that's for everybody, right? There's a lot of things here not to like, but these bags in the right player's hands are going to be awesome. I mean, I think the right players are hold of these and they can do a lot of damage, win a lot of win a lot of games with these bags. So all in all, I, I like the bags. I, I like what they're designed for. They do a great job on that. Now, availability on this, Titan is a website, titancornholebags.com. I hope I get that right. I'll put a link in the description just to be sure I got that right. The bags are available. The Titan does a great job keeping bags available. For the most part, they usually have bags available all, uh, all the time. Uh, sometimes I saw certain colorways, certain designs from time to time, but, but they don't just stay out for very long. So they are available. They're $79.99 for a set of bags, which is on kind of that mid to cheaper range of bags. You still have to pay shipping on top of that. Follow the pro players on social media. 
and you can find most of her players have a discount code you can use to save you a, a, a little bit off on the order. If you have a set, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback, whether you like it, dislike it, what you like, what you don't like. So I thank you guys so much for the support, and I thank you for watching.